Okay, you've gone to your usual website, let's say it's the Bank of America or some other website, and all of a sudden your user ID doesn't show up, your passcode doesn't show up, you know you've logged in there before, so you have to use this for God ID password routine in order to have them send you a reminder, uh, do all that stuff. But of course, if you go to the forgot password and ID, sometimes they have other stuff that you don't have handy, uh, whatever. And they want your last of your social. So as long as you've used your browser safe password function and not one of the password manager extensions, uh, you can go ahead and retrieve it from any one of the major browsers. So Chrome is the first one we're going to look at. You simply go up here to your top uh, right corner, click on the three dots there. You come down here to Settings, and you click here on Passwords. And it will expand here to show you the list of your passwords. So once you do that, you'll have both your accounts on the left-hand side here, and uh, the ID, like the email address or whatever you use to log in. So you, if you have a lot of these, by the way, go up to the top up here and say search for password, and you get a finite list, whatever that word appears in. Then you simply click on the uh, eyeball, and it'll give you a prompt, Windows security prompt, that uh, lets you put in your username that you're logged in at, and then it'll show up here. I have it blurred out here, but you'll see your password there. One thing to note, you cannot see other people's passwords. You can only see the ones that you created under this username. Okay, Firefox is basically the same thing. You go up here to the little button up here. You come down here to Options. Uh, there it is. Click on Options. And then you have to scroll down to Privacy. Go to Privacy and Security. And then you have to come down here to where we get two forms of passwords. Okay, Save Login. So we click there. And you'll see a list of your websites and stuff with your username. And then you can just scroll to find what you want. But if you click on Show Passwords, it shows every single one of them at the same time. You don't have to do it individually like you do in Chrome. Again, you can only see the passwords and accounts that you were created while you were logged into Firefox. Uh, no one can't see anybody else's. OK, Edge is a much different. Uh, if you just go over here and click up here in the corner, and you come down here to Settings, and you click on it, you'll see uh, privacy or Passwords and Autofill there. Come over here to Manage Passwords. You click on this, and you'll see this long list of all your uh, passwords that are saved. And you just choose the one you want. When you click on it, uh, it'll expand and show you the details for that particular one. So once you have that, you can see it there. But if you notice, there's no editing here. You have to go out to the control panel. By the way, this may change. Microsoft's in the middle of moving everything out of the control panel into settings or into the individual apps. So let's launch the control panel. Come over here to user accounts and go over here to manage web credentials and we click on that. What you'll get is a list of websites along with their uh, logins. And on the right, you'll see a little drop down. You click on that and you'll see the details along with the show link. So once you have that, you just click on the show button and you'll see that the prompt comes, the same security prompt you saw in Chrome. So enter your same login credentials for your computer. In this case, it showed PIN. And as you can see here, although it's blurred out next to the hide button, it's listed. And you can, once you put your security credentials in, you can browse as many websites and passwords as you want. Okay, there you have it. No emails to them, no emails from them, no resetting that favorite password. You can go retrieve it from any one of the major browsers. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.